Hello friends, welcome to the course of Code Igniter 4 RESTful API Development using Silt Authentication. Inside this video, we'll discuss about Login API. If I back to Editor, inside the last video, we had discussed and successfully we had completed all about our registration process. Now this time, we'll start working on our Login API. So while working with Login API, we need to pass the data as email address and password. After getting form data, then we need to add our validation rules like required and is valid. Once the data will pass our validation rules, then we need to use some auth helper function of Silt Authentication package and do all about our login methods. So let's start step by step. So I will go inside app, controllers, I will open authcontroller.php file. Now this time we'll work on this login method. We'll hit using post request type. So let's remove these two lines of comment. So here in terms of data, we need to pass email address value and password. And then we need to add our validation rules. Validation rules. And by using these validation rules, we'll validate our data what we'll get from the body parameters. And then we'll use all about a helper function of sealed that is auth. So let's remove that. So here, first we need to define our rules. So rules equals to, we'll have only these two fields called email address and password. So rules will be let's say required and is valid. Now after this email validation rules, we need to apply for this password. So for password only we have the required validation. So here, let's say if this validate, we need to pass our validation rules. So rules here, let's pass exclamation sign here. It means if we have any error inside our data. So in that case, this if block will be executed and response will be let's say status equals to false message equals to this validator and we'll use get errors method and finally here we'll have our third key that is data which is an empty array so finally here we have our if block ready in case if we have any form validation rules now next let's define our else block it means success we don't have any error inside our data so in the next case we need to create an array inside that array we need to store our data as email address and password so here i'll define a variable called with the name credentials equals to it's an array inside this array let's email password email address will come inside this request get fair and here we'll have our email column next we'll receive all about the password value this request get fair and inside here we need to pass our password so successfully inside this success block it means else block where we don't have any error inside our data then we have prepared our credentials variable which is a type of array and inside this array we have two keys like email address and password so inside this email column means inside this email key of this array we are receiving our email value from body parameters and body parameters now next let's define one more variable that is login attempt and we will call auth helper function this helper function is coming from whenever we had installed our sealed authentication package so after installation this helper function is also available so here using auth helper function we'll have a method called attempt and look at intelligence we need to pass data like credentials so already we have defined that so i will pass and put it here 
auth helper function is helper function coming from sealed authentication package and it is too much useful to get access of all the methods what we have inside our authentication processes. So the first method we had used called attempt method. Inside this attempt method we need to pass our details like email and password. So once we pass a valid email and password then is okay the another method of this helper function is going to return a true value otherwise in case of invalid login it will return false value so here let's if login attempt then we'll call is okay method this method is also coming from our silt authentication so it returns true value whenever we have a valid detail Otherwise, in case of invalid login, means any type of error inside email value or password value, it will return a false value. So I will pass exclamation here. It means after getting false value, it will turn into a true value and our error block will get executed. So response, let's say status equals to false message and let's say invalid login details and data will be an empty array. So this is all about the error block in case if we have our invalid login details. Let's define another block that is else block. It means we have a valid data set. So in this case, after validating all about the data, now we need to generate a token value. So here it's a token equals to and one more thing before defining this token variable actually we want all about the user data. So let's define our user model object first here. So user object equals to new user model and first let's say user data equals to user object and we'll call find by id method and inside this we need to pass our user id value so as we know that once we pass the valid email and password this else block will get executed when we have the valid user it means user accessed inside our database so once we go inside this else block auth helper function is one more method we are going to use that is id method so here it will be auth and id so after login this auth id method will going to return the user id value so i will go and make use of that method so go inside find by id and pass it here now this time user data is going to contain all about the valid details of a user on the basis of this id value and this id value we are getting because here we have our valid login details now here inside this token let's say user data this is all about the user data now we'll use a method called generate access token and inside this token look at intellisense we need to pass a key that is a secret key so this is my secret key it means this is a secret key which will be responsible to generate a token value so in your case you need to pass any of the different value but for the time being this is only a sample value i'm using a secret key now next let's generate a auth token value and in this auth token variable let's make use of token variable inside this token variable we'll get our lots of data but we want only the raw token value so raw underscore token so this property will going to return all about a token value of this user now next let's define a response here so response it's a status equals to true message equals to let's say user logged in successfully and finally here we have our data key inside this data let's define an array and this time we'll have data inside this data called token 
and inside this token we'll store our auth token value and finally after this let's hear this is our if block else block so after if else block go here let's return this respond created and i will pass response variable let's save all these changes go back terminal to start development server already started back to postman so i will copy this url which is of our register api open a new tab paste it here and this time api forward slash login we need to choose post request type go inside body form data and we need to pass our data inside email and password so if i go here so as we can see inside last video this is the user what we had registered called ashish ashish at the rate gmail.com and password is from one to six so let's pass our email address here so in this case ashish gmail.com which is a valid email address but password as we know that from one to six and i will pass from one to eight which is an invalid password now if i go and click on send button and here we are seeing some exception and the exception will be something called code igniter validation exception it means we have some validation problem is valid is not a valid rule and i think that this is the validation we have applied for the email address and okay actually instead of using is valid we have the valid email validation rule so this was our mistake let's save these changes go here click on send button again and as we can see in valid login details now let's pass all about the valid login detail password is from 1 to 6 this time we are passing all about the correct details click on send button and as we can see that user logged in successfully and here we have our login token value so finally we have now completed one more api method and that is login method so in our coming videos this is the token value which will be very helpful to protect our api routes like profile logout add project list projects and delete project so from the next video we'll see the development process of all of the api methods so for this video session guys thank you for watching and have a great day